right, so we got this 07 GTI, and they complain like all these lights are on the dash. It runs rough. It's like misfiring right now. I don't know if you can hear that. And I scanned the car. So this is what I got. I got um, I scanned this yesterday. I got this power supply relay fault or supply relay for engine components, air and electrical circuit. We have all these other ones. Right here and I'm thinking we got a power supply issue we got evap circuit open turbocharged bypass control circuit no signal wastegate solenoid a no signal fuel pressure evap system leak detection pump control so I'm thinking fuel or uh, coolant pump sorry coolant pump circuit open and uh sorry my allergies are really messed up today or am I printing them all out right here I'm gonna go look at diagram, see if they're like we got a supply issue. I'm gonna put this window down, it's really hot. And uh, we're gonna look to see if there might be like some kind of supply issue because that's a lot of codes. And I know on Volkswagens, like if we have blown fuse or something, it'll cause all kinds of problems like this. I didn't even pop the hood yet, so I don't even know what it looks like under the hood. But I think our stuff is gonna be underneath here. Do a quick visual how dusty this is. Okay, nothing looks too too. So we're gonna go uh gonna go look at diagram. Here we go, we got a wastegate regulator valve here, evap emissions purge yes, canister sir. valve here, turbocharger recirculation valve, and that all comes up to this. Fuse 9, let's see where Fuse 6 goes. Fuse 6 comes down to fuel pressure regulator valve. I think we had a code for that, not sure. So we're going to look to see, I'm going to look to see where this uh, engine supply relay is. Hey okay guys, here's the diagram. It says that the supply relay is this one. So we need to check to see if this is actually the right relay. So we got four legs, and it doesn't have this one. I don't know if somebody might have been in here and mixed them up. We have this one. So this one has the same leg pattern, but it has an extra leg here, and not doesn't have the small one. Then we need to check our fuses, make sure all our fuses are here. So that just has the big pins. See, it does have a spot for a small one. So we need to make sure that these are the right relays. Guys, so I found this in uh, all data, this diagram right here. So we want A4. A4. Uh, suspected. A4 is supposed to be 100. So it looks like somebody mixed these up. I don't know what is different. Oh, maybe it's not turning it on because it doesn't have the extra leg. Yeah, maybe that's the issue. Try putting that one there. What's A1 supposed to be? A1 is supposed to be 100. No, wait, no, A1 is, it's on this page. Oh, look at that, 167. So that one's supposed to be here. Um, what is A2 supposed to be? A2 is supposed to be 102 according to this. Brand new corn pump and we don't have 100. Um, A3 is not used, so this one's not used. Let's see if that makes a difference. Oh, I'm gonna have to grab my scan module. Oh, now we don't have an engine computer. Okay, so is our diagram wrong? Okay, so that didn't work. So it doesn't start that way. But yet, our diagram says it's supposed to start. This is from 05. So these have to be switched back. The other possibility is could be missing fuses. I'll have to check the fuses. See which ones are supposed to be populated. 
Okay, guys, so I found out there's also possibly two, uh, two revisions, I guess, for this box. I found a post on IT, and I'll try to show you guys that later. But we're going to take our, i got my U-Activate here. I'm going to put this in. I'm going to turn this car on. Let's see if we have power going to this relay. Let's see. We have power in 87. See that right there. Um, our control wire might be one of the small ones on here. So we have that. So let's turn this on. Um, we should have power. Let's see what codes we have. I cleared the codes. So while that's loading, we should have power right now. I've got my test light on here. On 87 and 30. So we have power on 87 and 30. According to this. Oh, look at that. Our codes. Our codes went to sporadic. Let's see. There we go. So we just have no signal. That's awesome. Let's uh, cycle our key real quick. Erase these. So right now we got that jumped. So we might set a fault code for be it being stuck on. There we go. Let's see, check out the lights off right now. Let's do a scan. This might have been our issue. I'll show you guys what this powers to while that's loading. So I print out these diagrams. So this is everything that that powers. Fuse 6, 9, 12, 11, and 10. So that's all our codes. Fuel pressure regulator, turbo, circulation, bypass valve, EVAP, purge, oxygen sensor, heated oxygen sensor, leak detection pump. So there we go. Our only code right now is for that for the relay. So we can check these fuses, 6, 9, 12, and 11 right now. Let's take our test light. We'll check 6. Test light lights. 9. We get 10 and 11. We have power there. Hang on a second. Okay, sorry about that. So, if we turn this off, we'll probably lose power to the six. So, we have no power in six. Nine. No power. Okay. So, that proves that this relay ain't turning on. Proves that our power going through the relay is good. So let's see why this ain't being turned on. Um, we should have power and ground on this relay on one of these. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Let's go over to power. So this should test our ground. That ground. So we have nothing. No control at all. Is this sense a problem? Let's try cycling this key, see if it makes a difference. Let's put this window down. I don't know which one's power or which one's ground. It's that literal light. So that one's being grounded. That actually might make our relay supply go away. We're gonna have all our other codes. See, now the supply is passive. So that P0387 is for that. 
So now we got to figure out where our... So one of these is supposed to be power. Let's look at that. So this is the right relay for here. This is supposed to be power. So where do we get our power from? Let's check 42. Fifty. Forty-two. We're missing it. We have power there. Let me go get a 10 amp relay or a fuse and we'll check this. So 42. Okay, got our fuse. Put this in here. this but now we have power let's put our relay back in relay now it clicked so let's see if this fixes our problem that that relay powers up a lot of stuff on this car let's see erase codes Do this three times. Do it one more time. You do it three times to reset the adapters on the car. Turn the key off. Turn it on. Oh, no check engine light. Let's do a rescan. I think that might have been it, guys. You can hear it purging right now. Look at that, no codes. I'll let this run for a little bit. Um, we'll go over this diagram real quick of what all this fed. Let's see. So that engine component relay right here goes up to G right here. Engine component goes to G. G's right here. So that fed all these. And we, we actually covered that. Uh, I'm going to also show you that other thing. So that coolant pump, i will go back and see if we had the, if the relays were in the right spot. They might have been in the same spot they are now. But I'll show you what else I found. Okay. I, don't, I thought they might have been in the different spots, but they're at the right spots. So that's exciting. Um, I guess I'll clean this stuff up. I'll let this run for a little bit. I'll just make sure that we have no other fault codes. We'll scan the entire car, we'll clear any other codes that they have that being set. But yeah, this U activate is absolutely amazing. Hey guys, we're scanning all the modules. Looks like we have no codes. I'm not gonna test drive this, but it's for use quite a lot. Um I forgot I wanted to add that uh, the relays that I pulled out in the front. So I'll let you guys know before before I swapped them, I made sure they had the same pin arrangement. Like 87 and 30 were at the same spots. And uh, 86 and 85 were at the same spots with the exception of that one that had it off to the side for that small one. So swapping them shouldn't have caused any issues with uh, that's the only thing. Like BMWs in that. I don't know if Volkswagen does it, but BMW will use relays that have a different pin layout than standard so you'll put like you can feed power right into a control circuit or vice versa so you just gotta be careful with that so we'll go in I'll show you guys IETM what I found and uh, that'll be it for this